Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is October 22nd, 2024. And the market has been red this week, but I still expect a very green week. As I said in my previous video, and I'm going to show you why that is. I'm also going to show you specifically how I believe we're going to get to 80k and what the price has been doing in the past couple days. If that all sounds interesting to you, then watch until the very end. We're also going to look at the altcoin space and the US dollar currency index. So let's get started. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. What have we been doing? Let's start out on the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, um, I believe what the price action in the past few days since the weekend when I last published can be summarized as being pay attention to this level. I repeat, pay attention to this level. What level am I referring to? I'm referring to this level right here. The price is showing you and telling you exactly why you should not ignore what it's been doing. Okay. It's, it's actually more, it's actually easier to see what it is on a smaller time frame. So let's go on the four hourly. Now the four hourly time frame, you can see this. Actually, let's go on the hourly. I think the best view of this price action is on the hourly time frame. Okay. I talked about how Bitcoin was putting in what we call a running flat correction. Okay. I actually showed it right here. Sorry, right here. I said that's a running flat correction. <coughs> it's basically a flat, a bullish flat correction. Okay, where if this is A, this is B, this is C, the B wave's higher than the A wave, and the C wave is higher than the bottom of the A wave. That's really bullish, showing a lot of buying pressure. Okay, what ended up happening is we did put in. I thought the end of the running flat correction was here. Actually, it was elongated, but it's still a running flat correction. As you can tell, this is the A wave. The B wave's much higher than the A wave, and the C wave is much higher than the bottom of the A wave. This is still great market structure for continuation, for bullish continuation. So it's really important to understand not just the patterns, but why? If you're looking for, okay, is Bitcoin looking bullish? Yes, it's looking bullish, despite what this may look like. That is still bullish because in the grand scheme of things, you're putting in higher highs and higher lows within the context of a correction. So all of this to me is a WXY, XZ. Essentially, you can just look at a, it as a complex running flat correction where you're, if you want to call this W, X, and Y, X came up higher than W, Y came up higher than the bottom of W. That's super bullish, super um, indicative of continuation of the general trend. And now what's this, you may ask? This is just consolidation. Okay, as you can see, you have a nice rounded bottom here. Okay, anytime price goes from up to down or down to up, you have to put in a consolidation. Okay, so if it goes from up to down, you pull in what we call a distribution. If it goes from down to up, you're putting in what we call an accumulation. These are just ways that price can reaccumulate or redistribute buyers or sellers to change direction. You don't just change direction on a dime. Okay. Now, focusing more on this right here, let's zoom into that. This, like I said, is a clear consolidation. It's a clear reaccumulation of Bitcoin after the final leg or the capitulative move of that complex flat correction. You're just reaccumulating. And as I said, the price is telling you something. 
this level on the higher time frame right here is important. What's this level? This is the 66.5, 66K level. It's so important that price spent all this time retesting and retesting and retesting it. You should put it in the back of your mind as a trader, as a speculator, as a chartist. You should bookmark, earmark this level. And this is the same exact level that we said was likely to be re touched re um retested once we go higher for those of you who missed the previous video i essentially said our targets 80k for a couple reasons I'm not going to reiterate them right now but essentially if you look at what's been happening since october 10th it's very clear that we go to 80k and we come back to what 66 5 66 6 this very level, it's an important level. Do expect for us to revisit it after we go to 80K, okay? There's another reason you can put in why it's very likely that we go back, to come back to this level after we go up, okay? So that's what I think of Bitcoin in the past few days. And I believe that we will, as I said earlier, continue the bullish momentum of this impulse to its final destination, which is 80,000. So that is the trade, still the trade to be in, I believe, right? And it's very likely that we hit this by the end of the month, um, if not by the end of the week. I know that seems a little early, but you know, the end of the month is coming up soon and it's unlikely that we do anything anything of note during the weekends so i would just count the weekdays uh and typically you do see pumps or serious moves start on tuesday evening wednesday morning and then go on until friday so i, I i'm not super surprised by what we're seeing right now in the markets okay so that's bitcoin that's what we've been doing. That's what I think. Uh, that's where I think we're going. Now let's look at the U.S. dollar currency index. So the U.S. dollar currency index is, for all intents and purposes, what moves the market. Okay, and if you watch my channel, you understand why I say that. It's inversely correlated to risk on assets, whereby. The U.S. dollar is the underlying asset of everything. You use dollars to buy Bitcoin, you use dollars to buy stocks, all that stuff. So if the U.S. dollar is going up, as it's been since the end of September, then stocks, cryptos, all other risk on assets, they're essentially not going to be moving up because the underlying asset, the dollar that you're using to use them, is inflating in purport or in relative value but if you're looking at this chart what do you see well you see a resistance right there okay that's a clear resistance you table topped here you lost it now you came back to retest previous resistance or sorry previous support lost support now as new resistance that's how i'm seeing this here you came up you made this support level, you lost this support level, you retest the support level. What happens here? You redistribute or you, uh, yeah, you consolidate or distribute and flush. This level is the level of rejection in my opinion, looking at this chart. This coincides with what I think will happen in Bitcoin, in crypto. First, a cooling down of this upside, right? Moving to sideways and down. In this sideways and down is where I see our crypto pump, okay? So that's the uh, US dollar currency index. That's an interesting read on that chart. Last but not least, altcoins, altcoins, altcoins. They have been tough. 
to look at. Okay, not gonna lie. Now let's look at the composite chart for all altcoins here. All right, we're gonna look at the total three, not counting Bitcoin or Ethereum. Okay, the total three chart on the daily time frame is at resistance, but it's been at resistance for quite some time. Okay, and this is clear resistance right here. This is a clear move down, right? I would look at this as one thing, and I would look at all of this as a consolidation after that move, okay? So in any consolidation, you wanna look at at least three movements. You can call it two degrees of AB basing and a pivot, or, you know, three flat corrections, three zigzags, it doesn't matter. This is your first, this is your second, this is your third. This is your impulse out. I think you get an impulse out, a retest of this level, and a move up. Okay? So that's what I'm seeing on the total three chart. You're at resistance, but you're likely, very likely, to break, retest, and move on. Okay? So you have to retest. So be careful. That first move out, okay, in altcoins, breaking this resistance, you're going up likely to come back down retest this level okay and then move on so that's what i'm seeing in the, the altcoin space it's close but you know the real move where we see face melting price action is this one right here not this but this okay so that's all i've got today quick update yes we're still moving up yes 80k is still the target oh I almost forgot. I was going to show you how I believe we matriculate to 80K. Let me show you that last before I leave. Okay. So 80K, 80K, 80K. Let's go on the hourly time frame. I'm going to show you the levels that I think we're going to hit and find resistance at on our path to 80K. Although this happens quickly, do expect and anticipate some retracements at these levels. And um, okay, let's get started. So, like I said, all of this to me is the same contiguous impulse, okay? So, basically, you're going in. All this is intra-wave correction, and you go up, and you finally hit your target top of this um, top of this channel that Bitcoin's been in for a couple years. <coughs> Excuse me. This level right here with this pink line is going to be resistance. This is 70K, okay? Why is it going to be resistance? I'm going to show you why. Okay. So after this running flat correction, okay, you, you have to put in another impulse. So you can start counting a new impulse, although that new impulse is part and parcel of the larger impulse. You can say, let's say you put in that impulse from here. You can already ready measure. Uh, actually, let's go on the smaller time frame. Let's go on the hourly to really be precise okay so that impulse bitcoin's impulse to 80 starts here right there i'm gonna pull my bid from that bottom to my 80k target and i don't i expect for us to go something like this Okay, something like that. So any impulsive wave as Elliot, Ralph Nelson Elliot demonstrated is in five parts. Okay, a five sequence uh, affair where you get wave one, two, three, four, and five. Wave one and two are approximately same time. They take around the same time. Wave one typically goes a certain distance. Wave two comes down usually to 60% of what wave one did. Wave three typically goes one six one eight or two extensions of wave one wave three or sorry wave four typically retraces between the two three six and the three eight two of wave three and then wave five is typically uh six one eight of wave three and that 
gives you your extension all the way to 80k. Your first and biggest retracement is going to be at the 0618. Okay? Around 717. I think 717 is going to be resistance and actually I'm going to throw this up here. Whoops. I'm going to put this up here. So my pink line is my first resistance, 71.7. I'm expecting Bitcoin to go about 6%, okay? And then, <coughs> excuse me, come back down to this level right here. Sixty-eight six. Okay. Reason being, you've spent. Let's now zoom out a little bit. You've spent all this time consolidating at this level. Okay, with this running flat correction. This is now resistance. You have to turn previous resistance into new support. Okay, that's the name of the game. Previous resistance has to be turned into new support. Do you expect us to come up, retest the top of this running flat correction before continuing? Okay, so I think that 71.7 is your first resistance. And um, where you can expect anywhere, the minimum is a 32% correction. The maximum is 60%, 61.8% correction. Um that I think is going to happen. Furthermore, if you zoom out just a bit, you'll see that this pink line coincides with previous highs, mo most notably all time highs hit in March. Okay, so it's very common to have profit taking at all time highs. <clears throat> 71.7 on most charts represents close or uh, equal to an all-time high. So do expect that first wave to hit there, come back down, continue, not like that, but more like this, okay? So that first wave at 71.7 is what I'm reading. Um, obviously, you don't have to take profit here because that's a short-term target, but I do expect some sort of retracement there for all intents and purposes. So that's what I'm seeing on Bitcoin. That's where I'm seeing the price going in the very near future. And yeah, I think 80K is still on target and a retracement back down to 66.7. Uh, for all the reasons I've been stating in my previous videos, uh, I really think that is a very high probability read. All right. Hope that was helpful. Hope that was useful. If you got value, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, consider buying me a coffee at the pinned comment below. And take care. Hope you're making money in these moves. Bye.